Hi YouTube, in today's tutorial you will learn how to create your very own isometric Game Boy illustration in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get into it right now. Begin by creating a template layer and naming it Reference. Create two new layers and name them Outline Reference and Final Illustration. We will use a black stroke with rounded caps and corners. Now let's start by creating the line art of the Game Boy using basic shapes and the pen tool. You can combine shapes together using the Pathfinder panel and clicking on the Unite function. Now that we're done with the front facing line art, unlock all layers and let's bring everything over to the right. Select the line art and hold Option or Alt on your keyboard to duplicate it to the left. Now let's make sure that we have the line art on the right to be under the final illustration layer. Working with the line art on the left, we will head over to the Actions panel you will see that I have isometric actions created. Now you can download these actions directly from my Etsy store, or you can watch the video linked above to learn how to create them. Select the line art and create a top facing isometric action. Select it again, dim the opacity down to 20% and then lock the outlined reference layer. This will serve as a reference point for when we create our illustration. For the next step, we will start adding some base colors to the drawing. I have created the color palette for you so you can find the codes in the description below. During this process, make sure you remove the outline and just add the base color fill that fits. Alright, now that we're done adding the base colors, we can start applying some 3D effects. Copy over the shape to the left, and while selected, head to the top menu and select 3D Classic, Extrude, and Bevel Classic. For the position, select Isometric Top, and give the shape a 115 point depth. Confirm by clicking on OK. Let's line it up with the reference. To finalize the shape, go to the Object menu at the top and select Expand Appearance, and then Release Compound Path. We will then ungroup everything so we can clean this up. Select the top shape and apply the original light gray color that we had. For the side, we will select all and activate the shape builder tool. With the tool activated, click and drag over the shapes to combine them. Then we can select each individual shape and apply some shadows. For the screen, select all shapes around the screen and copy it. Go to the Action panel and select ISO Top Action and line it up with the reference. Following these methods, we will take shapes from the right and turn it into a 3D objects or isometric shapes and add them to the Game Boy illustration. 